Hey guys and welcome to another one of my flight attendant videos. Over the course of the last year I've gotten so many messages about how I tie my flight attendant scarf right here and I thought I'd just show you, I know I promised a few of you a video a while ago and I've just now finally gone around to filming it but I'll show you a few different ways of how you can actually tie your flight attendant scarf. I feel like this might come in handy if you're a new hire or even if you've worked as a flight attendant for a while but are looking for new and creative ways to wear your scarf or even if you're a gate agent because you have a scarf as well, you know? So anyways, let's get started. I have different scarf sizes here. So I've got a small one right here and then I've actually got a bigger one as well. So I'm just going to show you different ways of how you can tie those. So let's get started. Let's actually start out with the small one. I'll put it down like this and make sure that the side that's on top right now is the one that you don't want on top later. So that's actually the actual side that you're going to see later. So what I do is basically, let me see how I can do this. Basically I fold it up like this on both sides and then I just roll it up like this towards the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect, just say. And then once I have this here, I'm just going to fold it over. So it actually looks like this right now. So that's the small one. I'll just put it around my neck. Like this. Make sure that both sides are equally as long hanging down. I twist it once. Like this. Put it to the back. Then turn the whole thing around again. And then I'm actually going to tie it right here. So it's just like in a knot, basically. That's what it looks like. You can actually wear it like this so that these things stick out here or you can actually turn it all the way to the front, which is what I do. And I'll make sure that both parts, because we've got two rings here, they're actually on top of each other. So it would just look like something like this. And you can adjust how tight you want it. Like I usually leave a couple of fingers with there so that it doesn't get too tight in here. And if you don't want to see these thingies, you can just like put them underneath and then they're not visible anymore. And there you've got another look. So I feel like this is very easy and that's what I usually wear. I don't see a lot of light attendants with this style, honestly, but it's just my favorite one cause you don't have these parts here hanging inside of drinks or food because that can happen if your scarf is hanging down very long but yeah that's style number one i guess let's continue with another flight attendant scarf style so this is just the same way i had it before i just switched the sides so now you have more yellow in there and what i do now is i'll put it around my neck like this and i'm actually gonna leave those ends hanging down let me just move out a little bit so what you want to do is you want to put the back part above the front part. I put a finger in here, then I'll put this through, make it tight, and then I'll take the part that's on the bottom right now and I'll put it underneath and go around like this. And then you can adjust it like this and here you've got both pieces I usually fluff them up a little bit and I put them like this so one part is in the front and one part is in the back and I feel like it looks very cute and that's another one of my favorite styles I used to wear it like this all the time and I feel like this knot here is actually I mean there are people who can do it better than me obviously but I feel like it looks actually kind of cute and we've got a logo here and everything so yeah i like to wear that style as well i actually just changed into my blouse so that's another uniform piece i have at home because you can only do this style with a blouse i think so anyways this is the small scarf once again i'll just take it i'll put it around my neck from behind and i'll actually put it inside of the collar now you need to check where your buttons are so I have the top two buttons unbuttoned because that's what my airline allows and I'll actually move back a little bit for this part so make sure you know where those are and then I'm actually gonna take this part on the side where the buttons are or actually where not the buttons are but the button holes are 
and I'll just pull it through that buttonhole basically. It takes a little bit of a learning curve but once you've done it you know what I mean. Put it through like this and then I'll take the other side and I'll put it through the hole on the top. And I'll just pull it through and you can adjust it a little bit and that's the way it looks and you can just leave it like that and I feel like that's actually cute if it's that practical well I've worn it a lot like this honestly but I always had to make sure that I wouldn't get those ants into the drink but I feel like that actually looks pretty cute doesn't it I feel like it pulls to look together and you can see so much of like the colors I actually like it Maybe I should wear this uniform again sometimes. I haven't worn it in like a year. So this is another way to wear your short or small scarf. We'll just continue with the small scarf for now. I'll put it down like before and then I'll take two ends that are opposite of each other and I'll actually tie them up right here. Make sure that you don't have a lot of ends sticking out. So make sure that you just tie them there at the very end. And you've got something like this. So you can see the knot right here. Now let's put that flat again. It's gonna look like this basically. And then you take one of the ends, this one right here, and you pull it through like this. Then you take the other end and you also pull it through on top of the one that you just pulled through, if that makes sense. And then you just pull and pull it tighter and pull it tighter and you'll actually end up with this part right here I'm gonna show you what we do with it in a minute so basically it looks like this right now it kind of looks like a flower so you can like poof this up a little bit which is what I usually do like so and then I'll take it and I'll just put it around like this I'll tie the ends together just like that and then I'll put it towards the front and I'll proof it up the way I like it you see now it kind of looks like I guess you could say it kind of looks like a rose and I usually pull it a little bit towards the side or I'll put it in the center like this I used to wear the style all the time lately I haven't worn it because I like the other styles better but it is a style and it is a rose and especially if you're wearing a jacket with your flight attendant outfit or if you're wearing a blouse, I feel like a white blouse looks better with it than this neckline from my dress. But I feel like that can really work for you and usually you can scrunch it up a little bit and yeah, that's just the flower or the rose. Now let's actually continue with the big scarf. I know it looks the same as a small one and if you have a different one, like yours might actually look more like this size, it will actually work the same way. So anyways, let's continue with the big one. So what I do is I basically I do the same thing I did before. We'll fold it up towards the middle from both sides like this. It doesn't have to be perfect by the way. And then I actually start rolling again. So we'll just roll both ends towards the middle. And mine was folded before, that's why it has all of those like, you know, like knitters in there. I usually keep mine folded because it's easier to fold it again. And then I'll just take the other side and do the exact same thing. Just roll towards the middle. And there, I think there's one more in here, yeah. Anyways, once you've got this part again, you're just gonna fold it over. Like so. And there you have your big scarf or long scarf let's call it that so this is actually the long scarf as you can see it's super long and there's a really easy way to wear this now don't make fun of me for it I've tried it before and it worked so I'll put it around my neck like this then I'll cross it once like this and now the fun part comes I'll actually put it through here and I'll just pull it through my bra and let it stay there 
It actually looks really cute. It's not in your way like the ends of the scarf. They're not going to get in your way. You might have to adjust once or twice during the flight, but usually if you pull it through your bra, it's going to stay there. I know that sounds really weird, and yeah, it is weird, but I am weird, so... Um, that's the way I like it and I feel like it actually looks kind of cool with this dress I like to wear it with a shirt as well I've done that before and I actually thought of another thing I could show you another way to wear the long scarf is I'll just put it around my neck like this again and then I'll take the part from the back and I'll put it over the part in the front I'll just pull this through once and I mean you could leave it like that but you'll have to adjust a lot of the time so I'll take the part on the bottom again and pull it through again and there you have it. You can leave it like this but I wouldn't recommend it because it's probably gonna get into your food. You can actually pull it towards the sides then it's hanging down like this in the front and there you have it in the back and I feel like that looks good or you can just put it all towards the back and it's just hanging down there like this and what you can also do is you can take those two ends and put it inside of your shirt and that works too I've done that before and then you just get rid of all of it and you just have this one single band here again another thing you can do with the long scarf is you'll just put it around your neck like so and then you'll just take the ends and you tie it midway through like this you just like double knot it basically have this hanging down now I probably wouldn't wear this with this sort of neckline I'd probably wear it with like a different neckline like where you have a collar like a shirt or something like a dress shirt you can just leave it like that and that's another way to tie it and yes that's another way I guess so those were a few ways how you can tie your scarf there are so many more don't get me wrong I can't show you like everything because I mean there are so many creative ways and with flight attendants we do get creative when it comes to scarves you can do like bows and stuff as well let me know if you want to see any more flight attendant scarf variations. I can definitely do another video like this and show you more ways how you can tie your flight attendant scarf. These are just the ones that I most commonly use on a daily basis. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this video helped you. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so before. And make sure that you click on that bell thingy down below because otherwise I'm not going to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.